What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to The Division 2. Today we did get the new Title 3 update, which is patch 1.07. Now there's tons of information within this. I'm going to link it down in the patch notes below. I'm going to try to go over the high points. I'm not going to read over everything, but I might skip something that you are interested in, so make sure that you look over these patch notes for yourself. But to kind of give you an idea, some of the new features, of course, Operation Dark Hours, which is the eight-man player raid. It is not open right now. They said more information and exact opening times will be revealed soon. Of course, the new classified assignments. There are two new classified assignments, but you have to be a year one pass holder to get these. These are like a, a specific thing for the year one pass holders. So they will have two new classified assignments available and a new apparel event called Dark Hours, new outfits, mask, emotes, and of course, weapon skins. They did a lot with accommodations uh, and accommodations because I think some of the issues they had was kind of playtime uh, with some of these accommodations, like the 20 days distinction, you know, recording so many hours and all that stuff. I think they felt that it was too much, so they have knocked some of those down to make it a little bit easier so it's not too grindy. So if you're not logged in every day, you still can get some of those accommodations. The next thing they did with crafting is increase the base cap for receiver components and protective uh, fa fabric. That is going to be a cap at starting at 350 and ending at 600, so you're going to be able to carry a good bit more of those materials. They also added a crafting vendor uh, next to the crafting bench in the White House. That certain vendor will have uh, specialized and superior skill mod blueprints, uh, weekly blueprints, Blueprints from the base of operation vendor were moved from the operation vendor to that vendor there, the crafting vendor now. And also all, exo uh, all exotic item upgrades through the crafting or through crafting will get the maximum gear score of the current crafting bench tier. Now they did do some changes to gear. Bonus armor granted on blue attributes gear will significantly be increased. Armor and health percents can now be found, found both as defensive attribute roles. And the gear sets, Hardwired, Ongoing Directive, and True Patriot got a buff. Hardwire now grants skill damage instead of shock duration. Ongoing Directive now grants special ammunition into any weapon, including the current weapon equipped. And also grants special uh, ammunition on any kill, just not kills, or just not weapon kills. True Patriot, the debuff cycle was decreased from 4 seconds to 2 seconds and an increase in damage dealt to nearby targets when full flag is a, a active to 50%. So hopefully those three sets will become a little bit better. A lot of people were disappointed in the sets overall, so maybe that will kind of give people a reason to use them. They did a lot of things with loot kind of changing the way loot works, but mainly just know when it comes to loot now, most everything in game uh, requires you to be 500. So for example, uh, you know, for to be 500 to get 500 gear. For example, you know, increase the rewards of daily and hard challenging missions and they will guarantee a gear score of 500 when the player has reached the gear score of 500. The same uh, with things from the dark zone. The one thing they did do, of course, was heroic difficulty missions, stronghold bosses, bounty bosses, and heroic control point rewards containers will guarantee 500 gear score gear once you are 500. So you can get 500 gear from all those, but you have to be 500 for this. And also slightly reduced the quality of items from clan caches or caches. I, I'm not sure why that is. I, the It takes a good bit to get that top tier cash in my opinion for, for the clan i'm not quite sure why they reduced the quality of those items but we'll just kind of have to wait and see what those items are once this update is live and you get your clan cash for the week um some other things they did was of course they messed with a few of the mods mainly just hive mods nothing real big there they did do a good bit of changes to npcs and decreasing damage of veteran and uh, elite named npcs the melee range of all npcs kind of the aggressiveness overall. So kind of just knocking back their damage and aggressive playstyle just a bit. Um, that's not too big of a deal, but a lot of people were having some issues with, with the uh, NPCs being way too aggressive and doing some crazy damage when some of them get really close, especially with melee. They do some changes in the open world, kind of just 
to communicate what's going on a little bit more clearly to the player. So control point difficulty is more clearly communicated. Enemy uh, patrols and convoys are now signaled more clearly during the takeover. Civilian officers will now revive down players during control point takeovers. So you don't have to do it yourself. So just some kind of overall just good fixes like this kind of quality of life changes for the open world to kind of help you out with what's going on. Now, they did do some changes to recalibration. Recalibration has been changed to allow for the majority of stats to be moved as they are from one item to another, while making this less likely to reach the cap of the stat moved. To achieve this goal, we're expressing the recalibration power as a separate number called recalibration score next to the gear score. As such, recalibration will no longer increase the gear score of the item. All existing recalibration items will have their recalibrated additional gear score converted to the new format. So now you're looking at, you're not going to get, or kind of breaking that down, you're not going to get an increase in gear score. You're going to get an increase in that kind of whatever you're taking to it. So whether it be damage, health, armor, whatever the case may be. I'm sure they're trying to get everyone to 500 before this raid is released. That way everybody is on the same page and some people aren't extremely higher rank than other people i'm sure that's the reason of all the things of now you have to be 500 to get 500 gear and also with this new recalibration idea as well uh, some skill changes the assault drone the defender drone the chem launcher the reviver hive just got some fixes mostly bug fixes but a few changes like in reduction of cooldown and things of that nature talents now they did get a good bit of changes in talents so you're looking at berserk increase the required max armor uh, depleted from 10% to 20 now requires seven offensive attributes for that to be active. Um, you're looking at things like Bloodsucker for PvE and PvP got changed. Uh, critical, reduced critical hit damage bonus from 8 to 5%. Clutch, increased health gained per clutch hit from 15 to 20. Reduced armor gained from 2 to 1% and now requires 4 or less. Uh, entrenched, kneecap, patient, safeguard. Safeguard was probably one of the biggest ones that they made because it was a pretty good uh, talent, in my opinion. Reduce the duration from 20 to 5 seconds, can only occur once every 20 seconds, and now requires four or less offensive attributes. And some of the weapon talents that got changed as well, Frenzy, Killer, Measured, these all got knocked down just a bit. A few of them got buffs, nothing too crazy, but kind of overall it was a bit of a little bit uh, of some changes like to nerf some of these things to not be so strong some of the weapons uh the chatterbox did get increased damage the nemesis got some extra mod slots sweet dreams and lullaby got damaged increase the merciless or the ruthless got damage increase um the pestilence got damage increase liberty got damage increased and the tac 50 now has two zoom states Besides that, they did do some changes for the Dark Zone and PvP. Of course, if y'all want to read over those, you can. Nothing too big. UI changes and tons of bug fixes overall. But guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this update because there's lots of things going on here. I just kind of wanted to hit on some of the high points about the gear and things of that nature. But like I said, read over them for yourself and see what you think. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.